Okay, so um, I have another story from Zombies vs. Unicorns, and this time I have a zombie story because that seems to be the way the book is done. Um, this short story is called Love Will Te Tear Us Apart, which is an allusion to a Joy Division song, I think. Um, and the author is Aliyah Don Johnson, who I have not read, um, but I really liked her story. Um, <laughs> uh, she had a very different spin on um, zombies. It was a disease, like zombies usually turn out to be, um, but this time it was with prion, which, um, if you don't know, there's sort of these proteins, gen generally in the brain, um, where basically they think what happens is these prions are a specific shape, like like this or whatever, and they will bram, they will crash into another protein and um, break that protein so the protein can't do its proper job, and um, this, and then they will continue to alter the protein and make it into the prion shape, and um, so this is about um, a a guy who can't, Grayson, who can't really remember um, sort of what he used to be or how he got the prion, um, but these scientists gave him a half cure, so he he's not he's conscious of himself, so he's still like a person. He's just a person that goes around murdering and eating people, and he doesn't really feel bad about it until he meets this guy that he likes. So, yes, it's gay zombie love. <laughs> um, and then he's just like, oh, I can't eat this guy, even though he smells like the most delicious mac and cheese you've ever eaten. Um, and she writes it in second person. So instead of being like, oh, he smells like my favorite kind of mac and cheese, it's like, Imagine smelling the best mac and cheese you've ever had. It's always you. Um, and that's what second person means. Um, and um, I really liked it. I, it was so different to me, but it was well written. It's definitely something that I would want expanded upon, and I would probably, I, I will probably look into her other works just because of this. Um, and, it, you know you don't see second person a lot, and zombie books are becoming increasingly popular. Um, it, it started out with Pride and Prejudice and Zombies, but this whole, um, I want to say True Blood thing, because, um, True Blood was popular before Twilight was published, so within this de last decade True Blood started it, not Twilight, but um, True Blood and Twilight has brought in an influx of paranormal fic fiction and fantasy, um, and the vampire thing has become overplayed, so next we're moving on to werewolves, but I'm glad to see the, I, I'm glad to see zombies, because I don't think we've actually had a lot of zombie literature. Um, I'm not, don't quote me on that, because I really am not good with literature history. I have no idea, um, about, like, what has been popular or how much of it has been published. Um, all I know is what's happened recently, and I don't think that, um, zombies have been particularly popular in the past. I know werewolves have in movies, I don't know that if they have in books, maybe a couple of them, but, um, vampires have been going in and out of popularity since they entered literature, and I don't want to say since they were invented, because there are a huge number of, um, cultural and, like, folk lore about vampires, um, so that's sort of like a collective human thing. Um, different cultures have different historical types of vampires. And, um, back to the story. Um, it, 
I, it didn't go too fast. At least it was, there was a consistent speed for how it went, which I like, and that's kind of why I wish it were expanded. Because, um, I would like to see deeper into the characters and into the scenes and how things happened. Um, I didn't have to reread except maybe once. There was a confusing part where they were about to leave, um, running away from, um, his dad. But, um, but then you sort of knew what happened. You were just like, wait, when did they come in? Um, so there was that part, but for the most part, I didn't have to go back and recatch things. Um, so I definitely recommend that story. <laughs> um, I don't know if it's just the writers, or maybe if maybe like just I like, or if I prefer Justine's writing style to Holly's, because I have no idea how to pronounce this last name. Look at that. That's, that's huge, dude. Huge. Um. <laughs> My last name is short, <laughs> so, um, so tomorrow I'll give you guys another story, um, I hope you like it, go, go out and buy this book, it's, it's pretty awesome, I mean, just, just look at this, look at this, isn't that amazing? God damn it!